pending, and we're continuing and now with the we're rain. we're dealing with a lot of rain. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So what a deluge, Elliot. And you want to be safe. Please do not drive through those flooded roads and try to drive slowly if you have no other choice because not only could you avoid hydroplaning, damaging your cars, but then you could also cause some trouble for businesses along the coastal areas that could be dealing with the king tides and the heavy rain and the onshore winds. So there are just many elements coming together to produce this washout that we're experiencing right now. And you can see it from our Fort Lauderdale camera, Broward County. It really isn't a great day to head outside for lunch. So hopefully you brought your lunch to work. Uh, and uh, right now we are seeing quieter conditions for our friends down in Key West. So that's good news because earlier this morning we had the bulk of the rain all across Monroe County. And now we're seeing the heaviest precipitation is moving northward more into Broward County, whereas just earlier on midday it was more so in the central Miami-Dade County area. So right now we're seeing widespread rain stretching from Lighthouse Point, Pompano Beach, Oakland Park, Fort Lauderdale, up and down 95. Westward to Coral Springs, Tamarack Sunrise, some heavier downpours around Weston with dangerous lightning as well in Southwest Ranches, Pembroke Pines, Davie, Aventura, Hollywood. And just as I mentioned, we're starting to see a little break from the heavier rain bands we had earlier in Southern Dade County. Doral, a couple of showers lingering. Some of the roads look like rivers out there. Some serious flooding taking place. Some areas seeing two to three inches of rain. And as you can see, the winds sustain anywhere from 9 to 20 miles per hour. Peak wind gusts as high as 26, 37 miles per hour. Flood watch through late tonight. We could see anywhere from two to four inches of rain up to five inches in spots through tomorrow. And then we have the king tides taking place, a higher than normal tides around this season. And that means the next high tide around 9 p.m. We could see some more issues if we're still dealing with heavy rain and that onshore flow. Upper 70s right now, Miami and Kendall due to the rain and the clouds. 80 in Fort Lauderdale, so at least it's not as hot. Low 80s down through the Keys. Tropical Storm Nate moving across uh, Nicaragua and headed towards the Yucatan Peninsula, Cancun, Mexico. Forecast to become a Category 1 hurricane. Heading likely towards the Gulf Coast states. Could be making lap all around Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, or the Florida Panhandle. Although the cone has been shifting a little to the west, we still have to keep a close eye on it. Tropical storm warnings are in place for parts of Nicaragua, Honduras, and the Yucatan Peninsula, as well as coastal Mexico. And the computer models showing that Nate will likely continue moving northwestward. But then what will happen as we head into the weekend? There's still some uncertainty, but the model starting to come together that it could be moving here across parts of Louisiana or Mississippi. Now, everyone concerned about that UM versus FSU game taking place in Tallahassee on Saturday, 3.30 p.m. Of course, it all depends on what happens with Nate, but if it goes on as planned, cloudy, warm, rain likely, some storms. So here's a look at Tropical Storm Nate. And then we have this wave that's leading to all the rain that we're dealing with, not only today, but likely tonight into tomorrow, unsettled with breezy storms. And then our weekend will all depend on the eventual path of Nate and all the moisture that will be associated with this potential hurricane. So for today, 83 degrees. Hang on to that umbrella with those gusty downpours. Not a good day to head to the beach. A dangerous high risk of rip currents. Small craft advisory. Not a safe day to go out boating. Rough conditions on the bays. And it looks like as we head into the weekend, we'll deal with some scattered storms in the upper 80s. Again, our weather depending on Nate Elliott.